Welcome back to New England Living. I'm Rachel Holt. Say goodbye to sleeping bags and lanterns and hello to linens and electricity. This is the world of glamping. Nestled in the woods of Kennebunkport, Maine, Sandy Pines Campground is the brainchild of co-founder Tim Harrington. Glamping, glamorous camping, uh, is inspired by going on safari in Africa, and so these are really safari tents. What we've done is try to elevate it to the hotel level. You see these kind of luxurious king-size beds. We have air conditioning, mini fridges, living spaces to hang out, original art, places to play games, these great outside spaces, maid service, made up beds. You check in, you put your bags down, and you just hang out. As far as the area around this campground, what does it have to offer? So you're in Kennebunk Port, one of the most important travel destinations in the Northeast. You have a spectacular beach within walking distance, incredible biking, great restaurants, boating, kayaking right here from the property. If you don't want to do anything, you just chill out in nature. Sandy Pines is almost like four campgrounds in one. So we have our glamping area, then we have regular RV area, then we have tent area, and then we have the unique retreats. I think as unique as a campground, and even as a hospitality company, we have an art director. We have an uh, in-house designer, and that's probably not a usual thing, but that shows how much we care about design. And Krista's always moving and tweaking, and what she can do with $200 on a Saturday morning at a flea market is unbelievable. From their renowned glamp tents to what they call unique retreats, there's something for everyone at Sandy Pines. All right, we've seen the glam tents. I don't want to leave, but yes. we are. Bye, base camp. Bye. Look at these trees. Look how gorgeous it is here. It's beautiful. The unique retreats, we're heading that way, and these are very popular here. They are. These are absolutely unique. So this is a 1972 Airstream. It's very, very special inside. Krista, our designer, refers to as Mrs. Maisel goes to the lake. This one has a built-in queen-size bed. It has a living room, and it's not just about the accommodation. It's about your whole site. Look at this lounger over here. You can spend all day in there with books and your outdoor fire pit. You're looking out here at the marsh, the back of Goose Rocks Beach. This is a 62 fan trail trailer that's been completely renovated inside and these are mostly off the road now and have fallen into disrepair and so it's so fun to bring one of these back to life. Kids love staying in these. This is true vintage camping. When you walk inside, you feel like you're walking back into the 60s. So it has the, the bed over in this section here, which I'd say is probably a full-size bed, this little mini kitchenette over here, and then a sitting area. It's, it's pretty special. This place is obviously perfect for couples, but there's stuff for kiddos too. For sure. So families, of course, love Sandy Pines, and this is one of the things that they really love. This is a family camp cottage. There's an area out here for the parents, and then behind is a bunk beds, and almost like a little camp bedroom for kids. And I think this is a good example here. You'll find this all over our property that Krista's assistant, we call him Tim Twig, he's out in the woods all the time finding like this natural art. So you'll see pine cones as decoration, twigs, you see twig chandeliers. There's little touches of nature everywhere, but there's also AC. Yes, air And amenities like that. <laughs> Maine is known for hot days and cool nights, but sometimes not so much, so you just crank that on and it's icy cold. Lending a creative eye to many of the distinctive details of this glamp ground is interior designer Krista Stokes. Krista, what's very apparent is the attention to detail that you place on all of the sites that you design, and there's little knickknacks everywhere, which I think is so fun. I think one of the best parts of the job for me, and one of my favorite things about it, is that I get to put these little moments for people to happen upon. I get to hide feathers in books, put a little nest up on a rafter, and just hope that some years later that they will smell something, see something, and that we can incorporate as part of their own memories. So this is one of my favorites and I would love to show you. I'm ready, let's go. We kept it relatively simple in here and tried to keep respect of the architecture of the space. But as with the other places, we have put in the amenities that might prevent you from going camping. What we really want you to do is to chill out, unplug, and really get into the spirit of it. So Tim comes to you, he says, I want you to make this prairie wagon chic. How do you even start? 
Well, I probably don't need to tell you there's not a lot out there for prairie fashion, but it was fun. It was really, really fun. And so I just set to collecting things that I thought were reminiscent of that era or of a simpler time. And it's really something special. I mean, this view is really something else and you have to stay in this thing to get that. There's something about getting out into nature and you just, your blood pressure comes down and you start to just kind of chill naturally, but you're going to have an experience like you've never had before. Coming up, it's real food from real cows. How one farm is redefining fresh. That's next when New England Living returns.